did you design a book called Juliet? Yes. Uh, a friend of mine's sister used to date that guy. Okay. Rockport Shoes or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. A guy yes. named Bruce Katz. Bruce, Is that who it was? Yes, Bruce Katz. Tell me about that. Juliet. Well, it's a very special project. It's a, it's a kind of 12, 15 year old project now. But when Bruce came to me, I would say he, he was the first client I had that was deeply personally involved in every aspect of the yacht. And, and, and he lived the whole process. He was built by the Royal Houseman Shipyard in England, uh, co-designed with Peter Bilschneider, who did the styling and the interior detailing. Right. And it's a very special boat and, the, and a nice link Mm. from that is with uh, a yacht that was in anchored off kits with Zenji last week called uh, Ethereal. Ooh. Ethereal is owned by a, a, one of the founders of Sun Microsystems, Bill Joy. He was a friend of, of uh, Coates. There she is there. Is that the Ethereal? Yes, this is Ethereal sailing uh, in her trials. And, and so this connect, this is a fun part about this. Uh, there's, that's two days ago. Uh, ethereal up in the islands. Do they need people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't crew, but I drink. Yeah. But it's exciting how this connection between the, the people that love sailing and love mm. boats and love the technology of creating something like that. Very much so. Uh, and that's a catch? Is that a catch? That's a catch. 190 feet. Yes. Right? Uh, tell me about the Helios. Helios. Helios like is sun, another one of our boats, a little different. Juliet and Ethereal are one-off, built for personal right. people. Helios is an example of, of a Perini shipyard in Italy that we work with, where they build a series of these boats. So they've actually done 10 of these boats over a 10-year okay. period. And you can personalize them very much with the interior and the styling. Sure. But the basic boat is engineered to make it more efficient mm. and more uh, manageable through this uh, right. series process. Uh, the Marco Polo, one of yours. A departure, but it's a motor yacht. Yeah, that, uh, um, what, what's happening is that as my sailing yacht clients get older, they decide <laughs> to go to motor yachts, which are mm -hmm. simpler to, mm -hmm. to manage. And the Marco Polo uh, is it a great example of, of a, a, a long distance motor yacht. You can go anywhere in that boat. Really? And in fact, he's crossed the Pacific and the Atlantic. Well, I'm willing. And, uh, I don't it's, get it's very seasick very often. Yeah, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, how, when you're designing, you're at your, uh, you're in Ireland. I didn't get you to Ireland, by the way. You are in a converted piggery. Well, Is that true? Yes. So I left you in England. So yeah. now take me yeah. to Ireland. So the, after winning the quarter ton cup in 1974, out of the blue, some Irish girls read about this and invited me to Cork in Ireland for the weekend. 37 years ago, I never left. <laughs> it's magic. So, so I started with this one project in Ireland that was very successful and just commissions came my way and over that 37 year period I've gone from little 30 foot boats to the Mirabella at 250 mm -hmm. feet. And you design in a, in a converted piggery, is that true, yes, or a was. cow shed or no, something no, it was like a, that? I bought a little farmyard on the water mm -hmm. in uh, Cork Harbour and it became a pretty famous design spot. Yeah. Well, and, and inspirational because of the beauty of Ireland and all of that. But how, how do you know when you design a yacht, a, a sailing yacht, a racing yacht, that it will endure the brutal treatment that a crew will inflict on her, uh, the, the sea will inflict on her? What's your litmus test? Well, we certainly need to be mindful of the safety aspects of mm -hmm. these boats. And as they got bigger and bigger, of course, the loads are well, uh, sure. tremendous. And I started off doing it kind of by seat of the pants. It wasn't very scientific Great. when I started. Mm -hmm. uh, now it is quite scientific because of the responsibilities and, and our experience. But now we've got a team of people that are kind of engineers as well as yacht designers. Right. So, so we, we take mm -hmm. a lot of care on that structural integrity side. You bet. It's one thing to have a beautiful yacht, but you want one uh, that sails and doesn't sink. Pretty much. Imperative. That's imperative. That's, that's big. <laughs> big point. Uh, uh, when you compete, do you still compete? Not very often. In I your used heart. To, I used to live good point. Very nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's true. But when I started off doing this, it was all about racing. The next race you won gave you the next opportunity to design a new yacht. 
That's not the same now, but there are three or four important regattas, St. Bart's being the most important, that we attend mm -hmm. every year. And these are invite, you invite people with their yachts to come. And we race these big majestic things around the islands and it's quite special. Another important part of that is that you, you rarely get to see these yachts. They're right. very private, these people. Sure. And in one night in St. Bart's in this regatta, all the competitors are allowed on each other's yacht. So it's a, quite oh, a, a cool I love that. thing. Well, yachts acquire personalities, as you know, because you design them. And you're in Vancouver now, uh, down here at Coal Harbor. Why Vancouver? Well, uh, I'm, you're also in Cork, but yes, why here? Yeah, I, I, my plan is to open the studio here. Um, it's motivated by my partner, Catherine, who is from here. Yes. Uh, but it was also motivated by the fact that I've got daughters. I have four daughters, and two are in Australia and one in LA. So I'm drawn You're back closer. to the Pacific. Right, and do they sail? Yes, but they're not like they me. Not like that. They're not Dad. fanatics. They say, Dad, if it's big enough and, I'll, and I don't get my uh -huh. gin and tonic spilt, I'll come. I get them. I get them. You just say, bring on the oil skins and the briefcase, I'm gone. How nice to meet you. Sonia, very nice to meet you. Thank and, uh, you. You're obviously very experienced at this subject. Not really, but I, I love going on the yacht. <laughs> I'm not such a good sailor, but I love sailing.